Change the O2 sensors. This is the part number Motocraft. It's left side. Right side. The left side wiring harness is longer than the right side. This is for a 2016 GT. They'll tell you that it won't work. The reason being is because that you can't interchange these upstreams. The reason being is because uh, the wiring harness is longer than the other one. If you got O2 extensions, it doesn't matter. They will interchange. I've actually interchanged my old ones just to confirm that my other O2 sensor was bad. So I bought an extra one just to have one for a backup. So change them out. So this is the right side. It's the one that's bad. My passenger side. So I actually took out my driver's side. Put it on the passenger side just to confirm that this side was bad. So this is actually my driver side O2 sensor. Let's see how much extra play it's got in it. Currently there's no O2 extensions on it. So, and then here's my passenger side O2 extension or O2 sensor. There's no extension on it. See how tight it is? I did get it to be able to plug up, but the only reason is because I had to unplug it up there. Uh, unplug a connector up there to get it to hook. So that's the only reason why I got it to hook. So, but right now the, the O2 sensors are flopped. So if you get one from Ford, the one that comes with this uh, black, uh, shoot, I don't know, I forgot, slipped my brain here, but anyways, uh, coating right here or whatever protects it. That's the uh, driver's side. That goes to the driver's side. Just take a little plastic clap right there and push it down. Pull that out. Just like it right there. Some people like to see that. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, a uh, 22 millimeter. Change the 50s just fine. Yep. Easy. That's it. The same thing for the other side. One. I don't know what to look for, what not. To tell, <clears throat> to tell if it's bad or not. Uh, but this is the one that's no good. But anyway. Uh, This is it. Uh, I do have an O2 extension on this side. I sure do. I don't know what I was thinking, but I do. I forgot about it. It's been so long since I put headers on this car. Like, as soon as I bought it, I threw headers on it. But this is the finished product. Some zip ties. Gotta love them zip ties. Plastic jug got caught right there. X pop rouse exhaust. Still got my slicks and stuff on. <laughs> See them toe links. All that good stuff. Wish BMR would hold up and come up. That K member. See my front coilovers, Vikings. Yeah.
people. Yep, stock motor mounts. Oh, blue crap. I throw a little anti-seize on it. On the threads there. Because I'm sure they'll go out again eventually. That way they won't be hard to get off. Alright. Alright, I ain't done no startup yet. So. Everything. Tell I'm on E85 right now. It's turned the power off on me. Uh, Lamba 1 is driver side. Lamba 2 is passenger side. It'll take a minute for it to, to get a reading, but we'll find out to see if it uh, fixed it. I changed both sides, so we'll see if they get a reading. Here we go. <laughs> AFR2. AFR1 is your driver side. AFR2 is your bank two is your star uh, starboard <laughs> is your right side. Uh, it was reading zero. So that just come backed up that my Lamba 2 was out. But now it's working. So that come for also confirms uh that it was the O2 sensor. I don't hear the mist no more. That it was, had a little hiccup. Uh, but uh, under normal driving conditions, it would run just a tad fat, the AFR. It'd run just a tad fat. Uh, it'd be like, you know, like eight and a half to nine and a half, something like that. But under wide open throttle, it, it would, the computer would resort to bank one and the car would run fine, you know, and it would do 8.3 to 8.5 under wide open throttle. But I check, I back my N-gauge up with my SCT device. I checked my gauges with my SCT device and it confirmed that my, my AFR2 was, I still had zeros across the dash across it and uh my lambo was zero then also so i i checked double checked triple checked and everything it was my o2 sensor and i just replaced it with a new one and that confirmed that it was my o2 sensor and i put a new one in it i bought a backup one just for the heck of it case i'm at the track and it goes out at o's out again all i need to do is a 22 millimeter and slap another one in there so uh, that's about it for this one or if it goes out and I'm at the track in that one I can throw one in that one but uh, we ain't all Mustangs right here that's my daily then I got a four wheel drive I got I keep behind the shop there also but uh, yep. that's about it throw some more fuel in here and good to go take her down the road be test driving in a while it's raining on some some slicks oh yeah 